Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Banjo-Kazooie. Gosh, that was a terrible nightmare I just had. I was gonna say, we're back from this nightmare. What was that nightmare? For some reason, everybody was speaking in complete gibberish. <laughs> Sheesh. Yeah, like, uh, my, like my own friend, Kazooie. I couldn't understand a word she said. It's like, I was like I was talking to Donald Duck or something. I can't understand anything that you say, Manjo. Oh, wait. There are three new moves lord in this world. Oh yeah, so, so okay, so let's get to actual basics of this game now that we're going to stop all the silly voices for now. <laughs> in this game, the worlds are pretty small, but pretty, uh, there's, it's pretty dense. There's a lot of stuff to get in them. <laughs> you got cute little <laughs> notes, which are like your coins. I forgot that the actual notes speak to you, too. Everything speaks to you. Everything talks to you. <laughs> Everything. Well, except for that bull. He seems like the silent type. What about this fraggle rock reject? You see me! Matilda has imprisoned five of us Jinjos on each world. Free us all to get a Jiggy. That sounds inappropriate. AKA Red Coins, AKA uh, the, uh, the, the five the, star, the five silver stars from Mario Galaxy. Or also AKA the, um, what are they called? The spy, the spy fly, what were, they, what were those things called in uh, Jack the, and the spy flies? Oh, in the Jack, flies. In Jack and Daxter, no, they weren't, I don't think they were called spy flies, but there was something in Jack and Daxter, those five red boxes you break in an area. Uh, oh, damn it. Get this goddamn note. Mm -hmm. The weird robot fly things. Yeah, but those things. Oh, yeah, by the way, a benefit of playing the Xbox version, I don't have to worry about having to recollect these things so if I if I die or re-enter these areas. Fucking A. Oh, yeah, that was the thing, Seely. In the original N64 version, it was not until Banjo-Tooie that they introduced this concept. You had, like, an actual, like, high <laughs> score. You just murdered that beehive in cold blood. Yes, I did. And that bull yeah. has an alibi. Hey, Donkey Kong. <sighs> this conga's tree. We hit bear with oranges. Oh, no. Yeah, not yeah, the oranges. The hey, don't touch conga's box. Or oh, what? Uh, good grief, I just can see his butt. <laughs> there you go. Clover bear find conga's gold. Get paws off that. Oh. Get fine ten in each level. What's a witch? I only know of a Gruntildo. Now here is something that I will give this game. Get yeah, jiggy. Now here's something I will give this game over uh, Mario 64. You can collect more than one big thingy in a, at a time. Mm-hmm. Which isn't which isn't too bad, all things considered. Okay. I, it just depends on. Oh. Oh hi, be. Diddy. Get behind me. Why aren't right now? Yeah, it does look like freaking Diddy. Well, no, it's but, the same voice clip they used for uh, the chimpanzees in uh, Donkey Kong 64. Yep. There you are. Take that hey, orange. That cold goes orange. Put it back. <laughs> yeah, even the orange talks. Yum, to oranges are nice. You know, it's sad to imagine that everything in this world has googly eyes on them. Now, be <laughs> eaten. He just killed him in cold blood. He's going to cannibalize no, this poor orange. Donkey Kong is orange. Should be help fat Baron Bird. Hey, I'm not fat. I'm just big boned. I'm piling up for the winter. Yeah, he calls us fat, yet his entire body weight was able to keep the stump down. But yeah, Seely, so oh. there was a time where notes, it was like a high score. So let's say Ooh. you had like 98 notes and you, 98 notes on a world and that then you die. That is a voice for an egg. They're bang, 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 bang. Yeah, let's Big say, I, I'm talking over this because we're going to give Marge eggs. That's the joke. Anyway, mm -hmm. so let's say you got to 99 notes on a level and then died. Then in the original version, you would have to go back and bef and it would not give you that 100th note unless you had collected all 99 of the other ones before. It's stupid. So you'd have to collect all of them again. It was incredibly tedious. You had to do it all in one life. It's basically 100 coin runs in uh, Mario 64. And in some of these levels, aka the last two, it's a nightmare. <laughs> Especially the last two. <laughs> so, uh, for so fortunately in HD versions, they got rid of that crap. Put it back with like with Banjo Tooie, and now wherever you get one is permanently collected, which is a godsend, all things considered. Although I think some all the other stuff gets reset, like certain uh, obstacles that you've pretty much taken care of, uh, missions, all that, all that jazz. So now Kazooie can throw up eggs, Ooh. and we got ourselves a really weird token. It's a skull. It's a skull. Magic. I was gonna. I was wondering who was gonna do that. We need. To get, I need to do more stuff. I mean, I'm the Mumbo Man. That's true. Yeah. Oh, we can't. We you can't know, I Mumbo, me Mumbo, he, she, we, me, Mumbo, Mumbo, 
Mumbo. That is such an overused reference. I don't care. I mean, you got it set to M for Mumbo. You got to set it to W for Weenie. Now let's kick this co this Congo in this. Where the <laughs> That's what they should have said. What? Not like that, stupid. Oh. Use Watch the eggs. Out. Not, Not that way. Like no, you don't shit out eggs. You throw them up. Oh, oh ouch. and watch out for the orange. To be fair, I would do the same thing too. Someone shot shot eggs right at right in my face. <laughs> High velocity eggs. Th those hurt actually. Eggshells. That should have yeah. been a gun and enter the dungeon. Okay, okay, just fire eggs at enemies. Actually, ahead. wait, no, that is that is the thing. What's up? Here's a question. Would you rather oh, ooh, have okay. your house toilet papered or eggs? Toilet papered. <laughs> toilet papered. A uh, toilet paper gun or egg gun? I mean, for all intents and purposes, these eggs seem to be made of paper mache. Oh, Burpee Conga. Me give price to bear. <laughs> Doesn't this guy come back in later games? He appears in Tui. Yeah, he does appear oh, in Tui. Right. Oh, that's right, he's the circus master. I'm gonna be doing that game, ladies and gentlemen. Today. Yeah, because I honestly don't... I honestly don't... I, mm. I don't really have the same kind of um, appreciation of Tui as I do Kazooie. I don't mind it. Oh, so one thing to say about this game, um... This is one of the few SCC4 games to have, like, a variable soundtrack. Which means, depending on where you are in the level, the music will actually change to adapt. It was a pretty yeah, advanced nice. SCC4 game, all things considered. Damn straight! It's like an early GameCube title now that I think about it. Like again, like again, I will say there are some things that this game did buy. Hmm. There are some things that this game did that I honestly think are that, that, uh, there are things that this game did that I think technologically Ow. surpass even Mario 64. <laughs> A barren bird to surpass Metal Gear. Hey, ugly! No bears allowed in Tinker's Tower. What's that? Oh, again? But um, you wanna? What's, you know what? What I was trying to say earlier is um. You know, I want to know something that's also kind of funny. You want to know what this game was rivaling with at the time? Uh, uh Ocarina of Time. Oh yeah, yeah you're right. What? It was literally released like like months within, within each other. Mm -hmm. Ocarina of Time. Oh. So Arthur, you got an epic quest about a young boy escaping from the forest to defeat the Dark Lord <laughs> of Evil, and you got a bunch of barren birds firing everything with googly eyes. And every, yeah, eyes. everything has googly eyes. Yeah. And quirky music. Yep, very quirky level of music. And now we're going to learn probably the most beneficial ability in the entire game. The Talon Trot. Pay attention, everybody. The Talon Trot let Kazooie tackle steep slopes with ease. Oh, of course. I always have the woman do the work. That sounds useful. How does she do it? Well, mm. first you take your normal walking legs and throw them in the trash. Then mm. you're going to be using this move for the rest of the game. Sounds <laughs> simple? Just sit down, relax, and let the bear do your work. I mean, the bird. bird. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, you are the bear, right? I, I, I get you too confused. So check it. No, I'm a dog. <laughs> At least I used to be a dog until until Rare decided to make me a bear. Wait, he was... Did I forget to mention that the only flaw in this move is that you're going to be hearing that sound all throughout the Devil Damn game? I mean, it's not that annoying to me. <laughs> it's not that bad. But, uh, but yeah, wait, but what is the, uh... Yeah, so first of all, yeah, Kazooie's actually a lot stronger than we thought. Also, wait, he was going to be a dog? I mean, if you squint your eyes right, he looks like a dog. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, I mean, we may as well go ahead and go down to brass tacks. Originally, Banjo-Kazooie was going to be a game called Dream, Land of Giants for the Super Nintendo, which was going to be an RPG starring this rather typical um, JRPG type of protagonist, uh, a young male warrior with a sword, and his sidekick was a rather, um, a rather puny-looking dog. But oh, James, he man, that he was—he looked very malnourished. This was this was, was the pirate. This was the pirate game, wasn't it? Kind of, yeah. yeah. It, 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 you it, know, Sea of Thieves before the Sea of Thieves. It went from it went from a, uh, a mythical type of setting, and then once it made the jump to the N64, they tried to make a, more of a focus on pirates. And then after a while, they realized eh, we should probably just we should probably just focus on put put more of the focus on the side character that we like more than this random protagonist. So let's make a game about the bear and give him a bird in his backpack. <laughs> now let's make him fight an evil old witch. Yeah, um, I'll, I'll I'll give you I'll provide you guys with a little um, thing over there that'll get, that'll take you to a video talking more about uh, Dream. It's rather interesting, like okay. all the stuff that was um, scrapped, stuff that actually kept over to other games like musical pieces and all that, and especially one character who and who was originally going to be the main antagonist makes a cameo in Tui. He we'll had a dream. I had but a dream. Yeah. So. Seely, what other N64 games did you play around the time, like, when the N64 was all big? Oh, let's see. Obviously, there was Ocarina of Time and Super Mario 64. Um, there was Beetle Majora's, Racing. 
Beetle Racing, Majora's Mask, um, World Driver Championship, which I still kind of plan on doing a look at, look at on, if I can, you know, actually succeed at the game. I'm gonna teach you how to crown pound. All right, back to you, Sealy. Um. No, 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 no. Even, no, even, no, even better, even better. I'm gonna teach, I'm gonna teach the bird how to crown pound with her beak. Wait a minute. Is this one of the few moves that you actually get in Banjo Tooie? You start off with this already. Yeah, you. Uh, every ability you get in this game, you already have in the in, at the beginning of Banjo yeah. Tooie. I honestly right. don't remember getting this move in the original game. All what, right. Ground pound. No, we already learned the. Wait, did we? Learn? You know, we no, we, no, we, we learned, learned the ground pound. We just, we just we learned just the ground pound, and we're about to showcase how painful it is. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I was thinking of the boulders in the Spiral Mountain. I thought yeah, you actually had a ground pound, those guys. No, you had a, you had a shoulder bar jump. All right. Yeah, the, yeah. yeah. Also, oh, yeah, you see, it's on. that it's it's moves also, like that that I barely even use, so I don't even remember how to use them. Yeah, I also could. I also could have uh, started. I also could have started that line of, "Hi, I'm gonna teach you how to kill someone." Oh no, he broke his house. Yeah, he's sure. dead. Now. And we broke his what? Yeah, <laughs> we see. broke his body. Anyway, anyway, see what other games did you play? I'm actually looking them up just in case I don't remember. Woo! Got and once you complete the whole <laughs> set of Fraggle Rock rejects, you get a jiggy. Wonder what Jinjo mm -hmm. Now did they ever did they ever say where Jinjos came from? Uh I, I think in the sequel you actually get to, one of the main no, no, portions no, I meant, of the whole hub world is their is their home. But yeah, I, the main one of the main but, plot but points like, in Tui is how the Jinjo village is torn asunder by uh Grunty. No no no, but I meant I was talking like developer wise where the concept of oh. the Jinjo came from. Mm. I wouldn't be surprised if it was like some sort of Muppets kind of thing. Maybe. Because admittedly, everything in this game looks like a Muppet. Ugh. Yeah. Like you I know. know what I wish I could have played on N64 back hey, in the day. Mumbo What's up? To bolt. Hey, you Pikachu. He with nice new stones. Oh, you don't really want to play that. I played I mean, it. Well, well, I mean, back stones. then, I'm saying I wish nope. I could have played it back then. <laughs> you just caught your own egg. You don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to it. poop them out. You can just Why shoot them in. Yeah, here I realized maybe I should just shoot, the, shoot them from the from the front, not so much. You know, the yeah. you know the thing that back you know, here, you know, your move <laughs> that was designed specifically for jettisoning thing in front of you. Ta da! Yeah, but that was get faster. Uh, the only reason why I, just, I didn't think about doing that oh. at first is because I thought maybe I when shooting don't do the last one. Don't do the last top. one. Grand pound don't up. Do no. one. Jump no. on top. No, you have Hi. to get the mumbo token. Hi. There's a mumbo token up there if you go on to the spinning one and hop on top of it. Um, correction, not a mumbo token, a, a, um, honey, a, um, honey, honey Empty honey cone. James, man, okay. you fool. Empty honey cone. You fool. Don't worry, I go back to, I, I go back to get that later. Okay. Hey, who's this hot piece of slice? It's Grant Kirkle. <laughs> Me mumbo, best shaman in all game, can help banjo and filthy feathered one. It's, yeah, yeah, that's Grant Kirkle. Watch I wonder who else did the voices. Mumbo I know. magic tokens hid by which fine tokens and Mumbo will I know you. Grant Kirkhope said in that Game Grumps interview that he did, yeah. eh? he did like a good, like, oh, we need two more. I know he did say, like, like two or three different, like, voices were him, as far as I can tell, including Donkey Kong for Donkey Kong 64. Yeah, in this case, he specifically did the uh, voice samples, like the oh, 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 oh. And uh, his magical chanting sounds. And he's all the Uminakas. Yeah, but we'll get into that as soon as we get uh, a few more uh, skulls. Yeah, we need more. Oh, so you have to get it in here. Oh, so you actually have to come. You <laughs> actually do have to come come in here, cause like, from what I remember, like they only give you like just the number of um, mumbo tokens you need, and if you actually miss one of these, you do have to backtrack. Fuck. Not even Kazooie's own legs can get get her past those um, slopes. You know, looking back to the uh, Game Grumps episode where, uh... <laughs> looking back to the Game Grumps episode in which they had uh, Grant Kirk Cope join the show, um, oh, yeah. I do love how in the Ant Hill it's literally just, um... What's it called? The Elephant's Parade? It's like one of those festive songs slowed down. Ooh! What is yep. that? Every level has a Grunty switch, and, po and popping them down, they pretty much leave out a, a jiggy somewhere in Grunty's, la Grunty's lair. <laughs> Ah, Banjo has plenty token. Stand on skull and press X to see mighty mumbo magic. magic. Here comes the thing. Wrong button. Shh, shh, listen, listen. Elminakas. I love that sound effect. Mumbo's magic free to change back. You come when ready. 
Okay. Tur might bit small, but not bad for her spell. Mumbo's practice needed. So, we can use this to get our access to some new goodies. So, here's a gist with Mumbo. Whenever you find a skull in a level, you have to pay him a certain amount of tokens, and he'll transform you into a specific creature to help you along your way. Uh, the transformation depends on which level you're in at the time, but usually it's something to do with, like, one or two Jiggies available. Yeah, and that's honestly my one big problem with them. They only, re they only, they're only useful for, like, maybe one or two Jiggies at the very most. Yeah, it kind of makes them very, feel extremely situational. You but we will get it. into another interesting feature about the transformations in a short bit. Yes. Also, the termites are jealous of us, even though they don't directly chase after you. And we got all hundred notes. Do. Awesome. Yee. We can now Hooray. also we need termites Hooray. for this because these slopes are even too steep even for the talent trot. Mm -hmm. So only the termite can climb up them. Also, this camera angle is deceptively tricky to work around it's with. It's stupid, yeah. You have to you have to be really high up on that ledge. This is technically the first time uh, Rareware has been. Wait, is it the first time Rareware used uh, 3D camera technology? I believe so. Uh, I believe so. Yes. Diddy Kong Racing. I mean, there was Diddy Kong Racing, but when did GoldenEye come out? Uh, I think that came out literally the same year. Did it? Okay, so they had some experience at least. Well, to be fair, at the same time, GoldenEye was a first-person shooter. This is a, a full-on third-person platformer. We made it to the top of Mumbo Mountain. Woo! Hooray! And we got a puzzle piece! Yay. We got ten of them! Yeah! Woo oh. Interestingly enough, Banjo does take fall damage, but not when he's transformed. So you could jump from any height you want in this case. And little in little speed running trick that many people know is that if is that it's actually best to try and get as many jiggies as you can while transformed because you don't go through the whole little animation when you're transformed. <laughs> I of like course. how apathetic that little goblin was there. It's like, oh hey, termite. Or just walk around a bit. <laughs> oh, we can chill out here transformed for a while and get this yep. jiggy we got earlier. Mm-hmm. Do be worried, though, that these uh, Mumbo Magics do not last forever. Well, no, they last as long as you want, they just have limited radius. Or range. And you'll get those shorts! And for some reason, the enemies around the levels spawn in only after you first enter the level. Yes. Turn back or magic go. And done. Magic all gone. Must go back to bear and bird. Now, oh. do now, interestingly enough, there is one transformation in the game that's listed as a gag. Um, that would be the washing machine, I believe. Which you only get through a cheat code. You get through a cheat code or from sheer luck. Because sometimes really? when he tries transforming you, it'll... Uh, um, about that. It happens. it happens. I'm just gonna say this. Yes, it did happen. Oh boy, I can't wait to see wow. when. All right, then. It'll be a while from now. I'm just going to say that. Ching. But hey, not too bad. Let's go back and into... bank. So I do believe it's time for us to head on out of here. All right, Aww, let's go back to Grunty's Castle. I was enjoying this jovial Mumbo Mountain music. I will... Now, the other thing I will say that I like about this game is that Grunty's Castle feels a lot more massive than Peach's Castle. Then. Oh, damn it's straight. More massive, though it, it's more massive, though, at the same time. It also... I guess to its, to its credit, it also doesn't feel needlessly big, for lack of a better word. Like every every area in this in this um cat in this layer does feel rather well spaced and confined to a point where you it's not it's not that it's it's hard for you to get lost in this place. Not to mention every single area of Frontier's Castle is pretty distinct. And these yeah. are the no and these are the note doors, Siri. Ooh. And as Open you know, it up, Jim Jars. And and, and also as we noted, and also as you've noticed, we'll be using the we do need to go through these levels as well to learn powers that will help us through the rest of the castle. How many do we need? And I'm running that door, stupid. Oh. <laughs> like I I would love I would love if he just took this entire sense and just compressed it down to a number on the door, stupid. Now here's the thing. <laughs> note scores are tied only to the worlds that you collect notes in. Um it's basically a note score. Um, you know, well, it's not no. like a currency where you just collect it and keep it. There are lots of the worlds that you collect them in. Well, that's and that's the other thing you gotta remember. Oh, Ooh, oh what was that there? Who's that? What is that? Oh, she looks gross. Oh yeah, the other thing though, Silly said, yeah, the note score nowadays is pretty much just total notes. Uh, I guess you oh, and your sister Brinty. Hello there, 
trying to leave and bring to the grip to this nicer sister. Of course. I've crept out here to help you defeat the old hag. It's about time she was taught a lesson. Don't worry, don't mind how we're gonna forget about her in Tui. I know all the country's <laughs> yeah. disgusting secrets. And I'll tell you three of them every time you find me. But you're a ghost. Remember them well. She's young told, ones. basically. As they will help you avoid a fiery. These are randomly generated. No, they're not. If you'd like to hear them. The oh no, the answer is no. The no, facts the that she no, gets. They're always set. Bunty brushes her rotten teeth with salted slug. Toothpaste. <laughs> Ugh. I thought this was random. Like that toothpaste can change between three different variants. She also washes her hair with rancid milk. Yeah. You let the girl talk. I'm Last sorry, day. but it's all wobbly and gross. Anyone thinking of Wizard The Witch's Warehouse? Yeah, I'm seeing that as well. That's probably what they're drawing parallels from. But yeah, no, that's not all randomized. It's always Ooh. said. And you only get three at a time, of course. Yar har! Oh yeah, basically, oh, yeah, ba if you ever want to remove a piece so that you can use them to a different world instead, just hit the right stick down. But once the picture's complete, you have but to... But do you actually ever do that? There's no real need to. Nah, no need. Especially if you're gonna just go for all the jiggies anyway. Yeah. Like I am, because yes, ladies. I think I've already said this before. I'll say it again. This will be a 100% jiggy run. Oh boy, we get the uh, the uh, witch's gold. Hey, hype. Totally not cursed or anything. Hey, hype. Yeah. What 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 experiences have you had with this game? Um, I played it quite a bit growing up, mostly via emulator because only oh. Teleporter. It's just the top word. Don't just talk over it. It's just the top word. Um, but yeah, um, I'll be honest, and this is probably uh, okay. I'll be honest, and it's probably a good reason to let James do this before me. I've never actually been Banjo Kazooie. Oh. Really? No. I'll admit to that. I haven't been Banjo Kazooie either. Really? Yeah. I've never been this, and I've never been Tui. Well, then I guess I'm not going to feel so bad for the fact that the subtitle for this playthrough is going to be Ow, my poor hindsight. <laughs> I'll be the one to judge you. Oh, oh no. But yeah, no, I, I played this game a couple times. It, it, I do I do think it's one of the better uh, collectathons. I do think, though, that 2 is a little bit better to me anyway, and I do also agree that I think Donkey Kong 64 was probably the most technologically advanced game, even more so than Conquer. I think Donkey Kong 64 was the most technologically advanced game Rare made for the platform. Mm. Even if it came to be one of the more divisive games in Rare's library, they could have they could have paced things out better, like letting you turn into Kongs whenever you wanted to instead of going back to that thing. I agree. Wait, what? I never wash. I shave my cash. That doesn't make sense. That was random. Oh yeah, sometimes Grindel taunts you whenever you walk around her castle. It keeps it lively. Yeah, it's funny. I wasn't even a taunted banjo. It was just random knowledge of her. Yeah, she does that. Hey, fun fact. Oh yeah. Also, uh, as also. Oh, geez. sorry. It's okay. Sorry, my my controller fell off Ooh. my desk. You've activated the magic cauldron. Find two the same color to create a shortcut. Thank you, random oh, racist psh, cauldron. Damn it. But yeah, no, that's like that's kind of a cool thing about Grunty. There's definitely more of a personalized vendetta between her and her and Banjo, considering the fact that every once in a while in the lair she will pop up and give and well just say something random, whether it be a taunt to Banjo or just giving or just. You know, gloating to herself. It's funny. I think that's really what Bowser was missing in '64. A, a, What's a, a down more, here? A more continue, a more consistent, continuous sense of I'm the baddie. I hate you, and thus you make a villain that people hate. A, a villain that people love to hate. This is actually the final pi picture in the world. Wow! Already. Yeah. We'll be coming back. And here unfortunately, we can't do anything about it yet. Why don't we talk? So why don't we talk to Bren Brenty first? Remember, let me read the wiggly bits. <laughs> Goldrin Bud! Or why not just let Seely do all that warbliness? Okay, let try it. You don't have to do that for everything, only for the wiggly words. Oh, and you all have favorite color is. Gladys Pelotin Gladys! I. Well, yeah, we'll go with that. That works. She's shivering, trembling. It's experimental, I don't know what I'm doing yet. Brentilda, you liar! Gasly's a Pokemon, not a color. <laughs> well, it's a term. Go ahead, James. What were you gonna say? But yeah, no. Like for future reference, if you're gonna do something like that, like, like be, I would say my recommendation would be more like, um, 
And her favorite color is ghastly green. Just make it sound as silly as possible. I, I, I would yeah. say, I would say. And her favorite color is ghastly green. Perfect. That's, That's cool. exactly what we want. Go. The, I was okay. going to say if not. Why do that, I feel I like we're at the beach club now? I was going to say if not. Oh. <laughs> they whistle. I'm a red feather. <laughs> I help this we fly. Wait, I can fly. <laughs> you can fly. <laughs> I didn't know you could fly, cause we. He can talk. No, you know what it is. Whenever I look at anything <laughs> that pops up with googly eyes, I just instinctually laugh. Why? Cause it's funny. Okay. Anyone get my reference? It's googly eyes. It makes everything funny. I, I got your Shrek reference. <laughs> uh, well, on that note, ladies and gentlemen, next time we're going down to Treasure Trove Cove. Till next time, guys. Bye. Bye bye. Eagle.